the chicken plow. Uh, you tell me what, the, what else is on the menu, please, sir, for the day. I bought this heater at Rural King for 20 bucks. Milk house. It's, it's for a milk house. Look, it has antifreeze in it. And... Um, well, it's exactly the same as every other heater made because they're all the same. There's not really any bullshit on here like the stupid Walmart one that there's going to be another video about. It just tells you, you know, what it does. On here. You say that we have free will? How dare you assert that? Nobody has free will. Everybody's controlled by everyone else. That's how it works. As it happens, forfeiting your free will is even a choice. This thermostat is the most, like, primitive thing. This isn't even a clicky thermostat. It makes no click. Preserve the tip over protection. So I've just taken the controlly bit out of this thermostat. The weight is still able to open these contacts, but that's the only thing that can open them. Now I'll install this somewhere other than where it was. And that'll preserve the tip over protection. So these motors are technically the same frame type. And this new one will mount in place of the old one. The fan blade will be roughly the same place. But I won't be able to put this motor back into the heater that this one came out of as a gag unless I swap the bearings. Chicken dick. Santa butthole. That's how that turned out. It still says thermostat, 
under the thermostat. When you set it to fan, the fan will run no matter what that's set to. It doesn't even turn on. Seems like that would be obvious, but that's not the way any of them work. The thermostat has to be turned up all the way. So now the thermostat doesn't turn on at all. If you set it to heat, it does. A little light will come on if it's heating. Now that the relays and the beeper are out of it, it doesn't make any racket. And the stupid puny little fan is out of it. You hear it? The old fan had a bit of a helicopter sound. This is the fan I robbed that motor out of. And I did put the other fan in it. Looks ridiculous, doesn't it? It works. And I'm going to leave it like this. The solid state relay is just attached to the casing. You can see it in there. I didn't put any thermal paste or anything. It runs at like 125 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the tip over protection. It used to be the old thermostat, but you know we're not using the old thermostat. But we had to leave that in there or it would run when it was tipped over. So there it is. This is the lens to an indicator light. I stuck it in there because that happens to be the perfect size and shape for a guitar cord. And you really don't want to plug a guitar into that. So we stuck that there to make it look like a light, but it does nothing. On the back it looks exactly the same, except there's a little sensor sticking out there, and there's a zip tie right there. And we don't really care about that. Look how cool it looks. Now it's not as stupid as it used to be. This is the schematic of how it was wired when we bought it. And that's the schematic now. It's not very complicated. This is what I meant by a clicky thermostat. This is a clicky thermostat. You hear it clicking? The quick movement of the contacts stops them from wearing out as quickly. So that thermostat that was in this heater originally this doesn't even click this thermostat. Thermostat. would have arced every time it opened and closed. And it was honestly the worst quality thermostat in any space heater produced in the last 20 years easily. And that's the story of the $20 milk house heater from Rural King, modified in every way I could think of, except one, for no better reason than because Hail Satan.